Hi there, how are you doing today? I and my buddy Joe English would like to um, answer some ATP English section um, test questions with you today. So without further ado, let's share the PDF. Okay. So <clears throat> today's passage is entitled The Fulton Fish Market. The Fulton Fish Market. Walking in Manhattan, just south of the Brooklyn Bridge, feeling as if I have been transported back in time. So what is the best answer here? Leaving it as it is? That doesn't sound very correct. B, a uh, feeling that is like, or I feel as if. Yes, walking in Manhattan, blah, 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 I feel as if. Because it's, it's a common structure uh, on the ACT to use a participle or participial, then comma, and then an IC, independent clause. I feel as if I have been transported. So that's the IC. And walking in Manhattan would be the participle. So C is the best answer. <clears throat> Moving on to 32. Um, yeah. Bobbing up and down in the East River are several well-preserved 19th century uh, multi-masted schooners. Okay, so here, should we use commas or not? I think the best answer would be J without any punctuation. If you cannot uh, put and between uh, two adjectives, then you cannot put a, a comma. So we, we don't say several and well-preserved uh, schooners. <clears throat> we say several well-preserved schooners directly without putting and in between several and well-preserved. Since we cannot use and in between, then we cannot use a comma. So J would be the best answer to that question. <clears throat> Let's move on to uh, 30, 33. Yeah, 33. Yeah, it has a prompt here, okay? Which of the following true statements, if added here, would both introduce the main topic of the essay and provide the best transition to the next paragraph? Let's read the beginning of that next paragraph. From 1822 to 2005, the falcon fish market served as a vital link between the fishing industry and the New York City fish trade and was considered the most important wholesale fish market on the East Coast. The most important wholesale uh, fish market on the East Coast. That is the Fulton market. All right, so... Um, so let's read the sentences. Which one, if we read, if we add, would have uh, or would make logical transition to the next paragraph? Let's read it from the beginning. Um, the other uh, major river in New York City is, he's not talking about rivers here. It is a uh, pungent reminder of the fish market that operated here on Fulton Street for nearly two centuries. So this sounds uh, like the best answer. Let's read another one. Personally, I don't mind the fishy smell. No, the East River separates the island of Manhattan from Brooklyn. So B would be the best answer because it paves the road to the next paragraph. So B would be the best answer. How about 34? <clears throat> Reading 34 from the beginning, uh, yeah, would open as, the market would open as early as 3 a.m. on weekday mornings. This is when fishing boat crews would bring their fish. So, so should we leave it as it is, or should we say, for example, on such mornings, or delete the underlying portion, or which is when. 3 a.m., which is when fishing boat crews bring in their fish. So, which is uh, when, that is uh, edge. Yeah, so 3 o'clock, which is, which is when the fishing boat crews bring. So, edge would be the best answer to that question.
How about number 35? If we read from the beginning, given that all the choices are accurate, which one is most relevant at this point in the paragraph? So they say would bring their fresh catch into the East River uh, as no change or to sell to wholesale distributors or after spending time or for Bay Day. I think B, to sell to wholesale because we know that this Fulton market, fish market, is the most important wholesale market. So they uh the boat crews the fishing boat crews bring in their catch to sell to who to sell to whom to the uh wholesale uh, market such as this one to sell to wholesale distributors so b is the best answer <clears throat> moving on to 36 yeah sell the fish to buyers yeah, the distributors in turn would sell the fish to buyers whom purchase seafood or uh, who. Yeah, remember that these buyers who purchase seafood for lake for local restaurants. So uh, uh, who, because buyers here are the subject of the clause. So 36, J would be the best answer. J would be the best answer. Remember, in formal English and on the ACT, we use who uh, if the subject, uh, if it takes the place of the subject of the sentence, and whom if it takes place of the object. But in everyday conversation, we would just use who for both subject and object, no problem. But on the ACT, we uh, need to use this as a formal English uh, choice, buyers who because buyers here uh, are the subject, okay? So 36, J is the best answer. What about 37? <clears throat> All right. Um, uh, row upon rows, rows upon rows of carts and wooden bins backed with ice and seafood was cramped. We're talking about rows and rows of whatever so we should say where cramped. So C is the best answer. It's just subject verb agreement. Very, very easy, very straightforward. If we have a plural subject like crows here, then we have a plural verb. If we have a singular subject, if, if he said one row or a row, then we would say was. But he said rows, so we should use where to go with the plural subject. So 37 C. About 38, 38, <clears throat> um, anyone new to the market would be overwhelmed by the variety of seafood alone with live blue crabs, alone with or uh, <clears throat> no change, uh, or alone, comma, there were uh, live blue crabs or alone and comma, uh, sorry, colon, live blue crabs, half ton of swordfish, 20 pound tuna fillets, and whatever. So he is explaining and, and giving examples uh, of what he would uh, find the, that, and make him overwhelmed, what he would find in the uh, fish market. So we better use a colon here. One of, of the... Uh, uh, conditions or one of the uh, uh, things where we use the, uh, the colon is if we want to give like enumerate things or give some examples to explain or explanation, for example, of what we've said. So here is saying uh, people or anybody would be overwhelmed by the variety of seafood. So what is that variety? Then we should put colon and he explains blue crab, um, half ton so, uh, swordfish, 20 bound tuna fillet, etc., etc., etc. So he's giving us examples and explanations of why people would be overwhelmed by that uh, uh, fish market because of the different things they would see uh, about seafood and, and so on. So H is the best answer here. How about 39? <clears throat> here he says uh, um, swordfish 20 
bound to an affiliate, fresh octopus, and then he writes, uh, comma, uh, sorry, uh, period. And then dodging fork left, I made my way, blah, blah, blah. So uh, the fresh octopus would be the last of the, on the list of blue crab, 20 bound tuna fillet, swordfish, and uh, fresh octopus. Okay, so, yeah. Which choice best maintains the descriptive pattern established in the list of seafood? What, what pattern, uh, what is the best script to maintain the descriptive pattern? No change, okay? It is better than saying some other slightly more exotic species or something that I think was octopus uh, or etc. So to maintain the descriptive tone or pattern, we should leave it as it is. So no change, A is the best answer here, okay? How about 40? 40. If we read 40 here, there's a prompt for the sake of logic and cohesion. Sentence 3 should be placed where it is now before sentence 1 or after sentence 1 or after sentence 4. So 40. <coughs> All right. Sentence 3. Let's read sentence uh, 3. Where is sentence three? I remember the first time I visited the market. Okay, so should we leave it here or should it be before sentence one? As I approached, uh, I could hear a clamor of voices as hundreds of fishmongers and buyers haggled over price. I think yes, we should put it before the first sentence because it would make sense here. He starts by saying, I remember the first time I visited and as I approached it, I heard the buyers and the sellers and buyers haggling over the price, etc., etc. So G would be the best answer. It's better than if we move it from its position here to uh, uh, before sentence one. So choice G is the best answer. How about 41? Let's move to 41 today. Have a look at 41. Today, because of uh, my passing by the building that once was a Fulton Fish Market, I listened to the excited voices of blah, blah, blah. So would we say that or would we say something uh, else? Today, because of my passing by the building that blah, 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 I listened to the excited voices. Being that I pass while in passing as I pass. As I pass is shorter and better. And it makes sense if we say today as I pass, today as I pass the building or as I, uh, as I pass by the building that once, or as I pass the building uh, that once was the Fulton Market, I listened to the excited voices of tourists. It makes perfect sense. So D is the best answer. Why complicate things if they can be simple and correct? So D is the best answer. Today, as I pass the building, I listen to the excited voices of tourists. So D is the best answer for 41. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, how about 42? 42, yeah, um, the, the area is still busy, so the market itself moved in 2005. The area is still busy, so the market itself moved. Uh, no change, doesn't sound, doesn't sound uh, correct. The area is still busy because the market itself moved. The area is still busy, but the market is still small. Yeah, H is the best choice here. The area is still busy, but the market itself moved to some other place, to the Bronx, where it now operates in the new Fulton Fish Market Cooperative. Yeah, 
So H, what is the best answer uh, for 42? <clears throat> How about 43? Read it from the beginning. It's easy to imagine, likewise, the market still echoing around me here on Fulton Street. Um, not likewise, as a matter of fact, in other words, or though. It's easy to imagine, though, the market still echoing around me here in, uh, on Fulton Street. Although it is, or though it was moved, but the sounds uh, are still echoing in my mind. So D would be the best answer to question 43. Moving on to question 44. The writer is considering adding the following true sentence uh, to the essay. In 1924, for example, the market sold 300 blah, 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 million pounds of fish, 25% of all seafood sold in the entire United States. Wow. <clears throat> well, if the writer were to add this sentence, it would most logically be placed at point A or B or C or D. Let's, let's have a look at these points. Point A. So basically, he says that this market sold like a quarter of the entire fish in, sold in the whole of the United States. Let's have a look at point A. He's saying, bobbing up and down the East River, well-preserved 19th century schooners. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't sound correct here. How about B? He's talking about the market. New York City fish trade and was considered the most important wholesale market on the East Coast. And then he says the market would open at 3 in the morning. Yeah, this is the best place where we add that. Uh, fact or that factual statement he's talking about the market uh, uh, the Fulton fish market saying it is like the most important wholesale market on the area and and then if we add that it sold like a quarter of the fish being sold in the entire United States that would make sense here so at point B so point B would be um, uh, uh, G Point B would be G. So the best answer for 44 is G, adding that statement at point B. So G is the best answer. Uh, 45, let's read 45. Suppose the writer's primary purpose uh, had been to give an overview of a historic site by blending facts with personal experiences. Would this ethic accomplish that purpose? Yes, because A, yes, because it outlines the history of the original Fulton market and describes the central role the narrator played in the history. No. Yes, B, yes, because it provides information about the original Fulton fish market through the narrator's memories. Yes, that's it. Because he says it was on Fulton Street and then moved to somewhere else and become part of the a cooperative and that it sells most of the fish in, in the area. It is the most important uh, uh, fish market. And he tells us a little bit about its history and uh, its importance and so on. So yeah, B would be the best answer to that question. OK, this was the last question in our passage uh, today. And I'll repeat my tip for you one more time. Remain calm practice at home and uh, it's better if you make this practice timed especially one week before the actual ACT test and good luck to people who are sitting for the ACT and we will meet in the next one bye for now